Hey guys, welcome to another video. I got uh, Chris here today. Hello! <laughs> and uh, so today, I got some mud flaps. I ordered in some other LED headlights for my car. I already got LEDs in it, but uh, you know, I decided to spoil the car a little bit. I haven't done anything and I've had this thing for almost a year now. So I thought may I'll put some stuff onto it. The uh, current LEDs that are in there, my low beams are 30 watt uh, uh, LED per bulb. So it's like 30 watt, uh, 3200 uh, I forget what that's called. It's a piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> but basically there's like 3200s and so I got some uh, 50 watt 8000s coming somewhere today. But uh, yeah, so going to go and put some rally art mud flaps on and then Chris is over here almost dying. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's fixing his uh, beater. Why don't you demonstrate what's wrong with your uh, beater right now? <laughs> All right. This is just one of many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, the other day me and him went and got some uh, uh, new struts at the uh, junkyard, new to him struts. So he's going to be working on that and I'm going to be doing my mud flaps today. <laughs> we got a breaker bar this time too. Yeah, we don't have to worry about breaking my snap-on wrench again. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you got warranty. Yeah, exactly. Oh dude, look, there's a pencil in here. What? <laughs> I can't reach it. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> what the fuck? This guy's paying for itself, man. Yeah, man. Chris is just uh, pounding away on his first shock here, which actually came apart pretty easy. Where's the fucking thing? There it is. Because <laughs> we had such a bitch of a time, we actually broke my snap on pulling one of those bolts off, the bottom one. But uh, this came off pretty easily, which is surprising because this car is so rotted out. Like, mm, look at all that crustiness. But, uh,. So I didn't, I've never done my fog lights on this thing, but uh, so now I got both of my LED fog lights in, and as you can see, my headlights are already uh, LEDs as well, but uh, I'm getting way brighter ones, but uh, my fog lights are good. I already had the fog lights sitting around. I just neglected to put them in for about a year, but uh, yeah, so I got those on, and when I was asking on the tension page about this, and they said the bumper basically has to come off to do the fog lights, but found a way easier spot you just uh, take those two screws off and go underneath and then you can just slide this uh, the bottom panel out from underneath here and it's actually super easy just to reach your hand up in there and do it so yes yeah, so that's one done and it says uh, my new lights I got low new low beams and high beams that are going to be uh, a lot brighter but uh, yeah so I just got those on and then uh, now I'm gonna start putting my uh, butt flaps on Chris has got his second one in now oh look my car is falling apart <laughs> But uh, so I got the mud flap on over here. It's kind of a view for you. Car's still a little bit dirty, but whatever. And I got the other one done over on this side. So, and these are actual ra real rally art mud flaps. They uh, actually make them for the Civic. Gotta keep in mind that the ones for the regular sport hatch here are different than the ones for the Type R. So you gotta make sure you get your right kit if you're going for between the Type R or the regular hatch. And same with the sedans and coupes, they're also different for those ones too. And the Rally Art website, they have all the sections for all the different uh, ones. They fit perfectly, like they're so easy to put on and everything like that. And so now I'm gonna get to and start working on the rear ones that have a whole bracket. They're still zip tied together, but there's two brackets right here as you can see. And so those uh, brackets are for the rear mud flaps that I still have right here. So I'm gonna get to working on the rear. So, just as I was, uh, Doing my uh, flaps here. I just got this back one uh, uh, installed, as you can see there. So there's both of the flaps. I just got one more to do on the other side. But um, I went inside to for a second, and uh, my uh, new LED lights uh, uh, came in. So I got these uh, B2s. There. The, so this is the 90 or 9005. So this is the high beam. And then this is the H11, so this is the low beam. I mean, when you look in there, see, you could tell I already got uh, LED lights in there, but uh, so that guy right there is uh, uh, 4,000 lumens, and then these are 8,000 lumens per bulb. So 1,600 uh, lumens for low beams and 1,600 lumens for high beams. So she should be nice and bright. I mean, it was already really good, but I do tend to do a decent amount of uh, nighttime driving, so. These will be really great because I don't want to put a light bar on this car. It's 
won't look good. But uh, now Chris is trying to, he's trying to figure out why his door locks don't work. It's a piece of crap, that's why. <laughs> like the electric door lock, when you hit the switch, it only locks the rear uh, hatch door, not the driver's and passenger door. So it's like manual locks without uh, the manual. It's forced manual locks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get to uh, uh, doing my last flap here, and then I'll give you guys kind of a all look around on uh, the Riley Art mud flaps onto the Civic hatchback. I think they look really good. I'm pretty happy with uh, the red. I really, really like the uh, red with the black lettering. That was the uh, one thing I wanted to do with this car when I got it was to get some red mud flaps for it. It looks so good on black, but. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get to putting the last one on. The backs are a little bit more complicated to put on than the fronts. The fronts actually went on really, really quick. But, uh, yeah, so I'll get that on and then I'll do my, uh, replace my LED lights with LED lights. I mean, there used to be stock ones in here, but I can't stand the yellow. So, those are the first things to go. I'm pretty sure I had the old ones out. Like, the other ones, they're still a pretty nice kit here if my camera will focus. But, they're still a pretty nice uh, set of lights, though. And they're still really good. They're... Not even a year old, so I'm gonna give them to Yannick to put in his Fiesta there, because we both have H11 bulbs for the low beams. So give it to the, uh, give him those, and then he can enjoy some LED fun blinding people. Okay, here we go. I got all the flaps on now. All them flaps look so good on it. Freaking love it. Kind of underside neat there, kind of view. But uh, yeah, so all the flaps went on pretty easy. They're not too hard to do. The instructions are pretty simple. But uh, so now I'm going to get those uh, new LEDs in and uh, take the old ones out. So here we go. I got uh, all the new uh, brighter LEDs in. And I already I kind of had two in there. Or well, I had the one in there and then I had the old one in there. And we could actually see the difference already in the light. Like I'll get a uh, shot for you guys at nighttime when it gets dark here in a couple hours to kind of show you guys what they are. But like, fuck, those are bright. <laughs> That would be nice for some nighttime road driving since I tend to do a lot of that. But uh, yeah, see, here's the old ones. They're still like brand new. But uh, yeah, so that's all for this uh, little video here. Kind of pampered the Civic a little bit since it's uh, been a year. I put about 40,000 kilometers already on this thing in the first, in almost a year. Literally next weekend will be a year with the car. So, but. Uh, yeah, so I did the, over this last year, and now I put the mud flaps on, LED lights, and then I got rid of the muffler. But I might get rid of the resonator too, because it's still really, really quiet. So, but I'm really, really liking the uh, mud flaps. Look so good on the car. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video here, and uh, I'll cut over to uh, the scene of these uh, nice LEDs in. Uh, second here and I'll put some links down for these LEDs I got them off of Amazon so but uh, they're not bad 60 bucks Canadian for them got them the same day basically but uh, yeah